Tana Umanga, um, one of the great All Black captains and one of my heroes growing oh. up. Um, thanks so much. I never got to actually play with you, but no, um, no. it's so I'm great. Too old, to, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to be able to have a chat with you today. Yeah, yeah. So, how are you feeling? A couple of days after that, that sort of last game. Yeah. Um, pretty sort of um, special way to kind of finish up with that summer. And Tim, you must be pretty proud of that, oh. that English performance. Very proud. Very proud of the way Samoa finished, and you know our players. Um, obviously not where we, you know, we envisioned ourselves at the start finishing, and we still believe. You know, we had a team good enough to, you know, get through to the quarterfinals. Yet, and obviously, we, as we know, eh, in um, World World Cups, it's just you know, how you how you perform on the day. And now I'm just kind of decompressing, really. You know, um, before I have to go home and, and start it all again. <laughs> mm. um, you know, New Zealand Island. I mean, this this is sort of shaping as one of the great test matches in a long, long time. How, how are you feeling about it? What's your gut? Yeah, I'm uh, obviously nervous, you know, and uh, though excited by the opportunity of playing the number one team in the world, you know, I think that's um, not something that I suppose the All Blacks have been used to. We've never come from that place before. The underdog kind yeah. of, yeah, it feels a bit like that, doesn't it? Yeah. What, what, will they be, what will the All Black boys be saying around that? You know, will they be talking about Ireland being the number one? And oh, I'm sure that would, would come up. And I, hopefully, you know, like, we owe them. You know, that they have taken a spot that we've held for a long yeah. time. I like that. I, I'd be, you know, I'd be wanting to get it back. You know, we know what it feels like to be up there and we know um, how much it means to us to have that spot for a little country like New Zealand. But this group now, you know, have a great um, opportunity to, you know, to reignite that fire within the, you know within rugby in New Zealand. And I know those, but Dan, they'll be walking towards that challenge, right? They will be, yeah. yeah. It's a great challenge to walk towards. Yeah. And as you know, eh, when the All Blacks have a challenge and they really like love to stand up to it, you know, they love yeah. to answer that. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it's getting me excited. <laughs> I mean, you're a coach, so technically, how does this game sort of look? How do the, how do the All Blacks uh, go about their work here? For us as backs, mate, you know, as we know, if we can, if the forwards can lay us a good enough platform, get enough, um, you know, us enough ball, I think we'll be right. We'll be right. You know, Got enough game breakers there, eh? Yeah, we, we do. I, I, I think we do. But again, it's just that gain line, you know, set piece ball. Uh, who's going to be winning that gain line and get, be able to win going forward? Ireland are very good at finding and manipulating, you know, certain yeah. players, you know, and you know, making, them, yeah. you know, making them sit on their heels and keep going at that same spot. So, you know, those big boys will, you know, their work will be tested this week, you know, mm -hmm. this weekend. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure. Uh, you know, they know about that. You know, they've got some good operators in our um, coaching group and they'll be leaving no stone unturned you know, because you can't, you, know, you don't know what's going to happen after the game. You know.